Hey Michigan fans, welcome back to the Fool Show. Just wanted to talk Michigan versus Notre Dame. The game just wrapped up a little bit ago. Talk about, uh, I would have to say for Michigan, a complete game for the first time this year. There was lots of questions after the Penn State game, after the second half. Like, was the second half of Penn State game, the offense, was that what Michigan has? Are they actually turning the corner? Are they going to be a good offense? And based off what we saw tonight, I would say yes. That's about six quarters of really good football Michigan has played. And that's really encouraging. I mean, you just look at this game and right off the bat, the weather conditions were terrible. The rain and... I just got to say, too, props to the Michigan running backs. No fumbles. No fumbles by the wide receivers. Patterson, he had his questionable plays, especially the backwards left-handed toss. But overall, once the ball was dry, he played very well. And the game started off in the rain, and the offensive line just took it to Notre Dame, just took it to them. And this, we're going to run the ball. We're going to just smash it down their throats. And Michigan just run, 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 run. Even when they tried to pass, nothing was open. And Patterson would still run the ball for four or five yards. Just run the ball, run the ball. You got the big run by Charbonnet, set up the field goal. You had, I think, another drive, 60 yards for the for a first touchdown by Charbonnet. It's 10 nothing, 17 nothing. Like, whew, Michigan was just running the ball, running the ball. Then Notre Dame, they made a good change. They started doing run blitzes, and Michigan's offense stumbled, right? So 17 nothing, I think it was at half. Second half, Michigan comes out, and we can't get anything going. The rain's kind of starting to get let up. Notre Dame can't get anything, anything going. You see wide receivers dropping balls right through their hands, right to them. It was just terrible conditions for catching the ball. But it started to dry out, and you could start seeing some passes completed. And Michigan, Patterson, was able to complete some good throws there. Michigan, defensively, really stuffed the running attack of Notre Dame. And they pressured Book so much. He, there weren't many sacks, but he was getting pressure, 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 having to run and scramble. And he wasn't settled at all. And you could see that in his gameplay. The Michigan defense really dominated this game and just let Michigan expand on the offense. It was, it's really like a game, like the games were the versus Wisconsin and Penn State last year where it was kind of tight at half and then the Michigan defense held things down and the offense added another touchdown and another touchdown and then you get your 35-7, 38-7s and of course this one finished 45-14. I just gotta say, the refs were making interesting calls. That pass interference on Hudson that took away the interception was a terrible call. Notre Dame scored on that drive, made it 17-7. to Michigan needed to respond. I mean, they could. They needed to. They hadn't done anything offensively in three or four possessions. Just three and outs. And Haskins had that, like, 49-yard run up the middle. He broke it. You know, probably, I think he caught Notre Dame in a run blitz. And they caught it and got a 49-yard run. And then... There was a pass interference, a real one on Collins, and then there was a fake one, a phantom one, I should say, phantom one on Peoples-Jones, and that gave Michigan, instead of having to settle for a field goal attempt, they got a first down and they scored the touchdown to Peoples-Jones eventually on that drive. So I guess you could say the one interception overturned by penalty kind of equaled that other one in its own way. So, okay. Michigan answered the bell when they needed to, right? And I was really encouraged. The defense was solid. The offense was solid. Really happy we could run the ball on Notre Dame when it, you knew you could only run, and Michigan was able to do it. I've got to say, too, it reminded me a lot of the Michigan-Michigan State game of like two years ago or so, where it was just the total rain bowl. It was like 14-10 Michigan State, I think, won that game. So I'm glad Michigan was able to get up some points in this game. Moving forward... What do I expect from Michigan? Well, hopefully the offensive line can keep dominating, keep mauling the defensive lines, and build on this. Keep the confidence going. Keep the momentum going. I'm hopeful they can do that. Next week they're at Maryland. Maryland lost like 52-10, to 10, I think, to Minnesota tonight. So hopefully...
hopefully they can go to Maryland and get a win, first of all, and hopefully a convincing win. It's never easy on the road. And it, I, I just keep going back to that comment where it was an unnamed former player saying, though, how Harbaugh just doesn't have the the motivational skills to get the players juiced up for road games. And you could see that last week. And you could see that at Wisconsin, where the team just comes out flat. And you can't have that against good teams. And so Michigan, I don't know how it's going to go against Maryland, but I hope they come out on fire like they did against Illinois, right? But next week we'll see how it goes. But that's next week. Enjoy this victory. Michigan dominated. They got the victory. The defense was great. I was really happy to see Don Brown throw in more zone again. You're expecting man, and all of a sudden he throws in zone. I love that he's sprinkling in zone very effectively. I really appreciate that. Overall, just great running attack. The second half when the dry ball came out, you could see some passes. I was really happy to see McCaffrey get in the game and Milton get in the game. That's really nice. So, Al Vall, great game. Always appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments what did you think about the game. What are your takeaways? Do you think this is a real turnaround? Do you think Michigan's turned the corner offensively? Or is this just kind of more of Notre Dame not being that great? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Subscribe. I appreciate them. And as always, I'll see you next time. Go Blue!